like what it's like up there and how they get on and what they do. I'd love to know how they get their food up to the space station. How do they like get on in everyday life and what's the difference between life on Earth and in space? What do they eat for breakfast and how do they go to the toilet? We're here at the Black Rock Observatory to announce Glanmark Community College's contact with the International Space Station. This was done through the ARIS program, which is the Amateur Radio for International Space Station. It's really cool and exciting to know that our group of students is going to be the first group of Irish students in history to make contact with an astronaut in the International Space Station while it's in orbit. I think our bid was successful because of the quality of the educational program. Uh, we've had widespread involvement from all our departments, not just science and maths. Uh, the languages are getting involved. We've home ec doing space food. So I think the judges were probably impressed with the overall educational program. So when we heard the news about we're, that we were going to be contacting the space station, everybody in our school was really excited because we're all really interested in like space and like learning about like astronauts and how to get on. Well, I really love this project because me myself, I would love to either talk to an astronaut or if possible become an astronaut. So this is like a wonderful experience for me and I'm so looking forward to it. We've got an extensive programme in the lead up and that's helped by our partners, the Black Rock Observatory, the National Space Centre and Northern Ireland Space Agency as well. Uh, there's loads of things happening in the months leading up to talking to the astronauts. We'll be holding a 3D film of the inside of the space station. Well, we're going to build a radio station in our school and there's going to be a radar dish on the top of our gym. The space station is going to be travelling at about 28,000 kilometres an hour. We only get a short window of opportunity, maybe about 6-10 minutes to speak to him. And we're going to be hosting competitions in school to see what questions we're going to be asking them and who's, who will be asking the questions. Look, we were absolutely delighted. Um, you know, an awful lot of work had gone into the application we'd applied over uh, a number of years. And I suppose, look, it's also a reflection of, you know, the ethos um, within the school. We are part of the Cork Education Training Board, Cork ETB, and, you know, our organisation would always look for innovative and creative opportunities, and this certainly fit the bill. It's a really interesting idea for people to go up and learn about space, and I think it's a really nice job to have. Over and out! Roger, Hawaii, read you loud and clear off.